Uh, my first question is in regards to our gold uh, that sits in London Bolts. Yep. Uh, I asked you some questions on notice about that last time. Uh, you said you've done two audits of our gold. I'm assuming that's in our history in the last 20 years. Uh, and both times you counted 7% of the stock and 9% of the stock. Has the RBA ever actually cited all of our 80 tonnes of gold um, at, at any one time uh, when we purchased it or since we purchased it? Well, when I was here, we did. Uh, but since it's been in London, then I think I'm pretty sure, and I'm I will correct my answer if I have got this wrong, then I think the answer is no. We, sample, we did sample audits, and mm -hmm. fairly standard auditing practice when we audited, did those two audits that you just referred to. So they were both leave, sample audits. When did it leave Australia? I'll have to get back to you on that. This is before my time. I can't answer right. that question okay. directly. Um, why do you have to give six months' notice to do an audit of our gold? Um, I will have to answer. I, I have to come back to you on that question. Because if we've got the serial numbers, I mean, you won't give them to me, um, but if you've got the serial numbers, you should just be able to rock up and go, here's our numbers. Can you go and get them from the vaults? You know, it might take a couple of hours, but it can't be that hard. I mean, gold's a relative. It could take more than a couple of hours for 80 tonnes. No, no, but, you know, you shouldn't need six months either. I mean, it's either there or it isn't. So sure. I'm just concerned, you know, about where it is. I just find it's worth $6 billion, and I just find it quite strange that we have it in another country and we do an audit every six years. I think that's pretty standard auditing practice. You would find Senator to do sample audits rather than... Well, well actually, audits, audits occur every year. The stock takes sure. more than take every... No, no, take I take that point, year. but we... we but well, given the fungible nature of gold, I would have thought we'd count 100% of it, not bits of it, because it's very easy you know, to melt it down, you know, whatever. So, <clears throat> and then... I note that you won't release the audit reports to the public, under, and apparently there's an exemption under freedom of information because it's got to do with foreign affairs. Do you think that's really fair that the RBA won't release audit reports of our gold stock, given that it's worth $6 billion? Uh, I will, I will come back to you on that one, Senator, as to why right. we didn't release them. Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, you gave me the reason it said because it related to in international relations and okay. it contained material obtained in confidence. So I don't know what there is in confidence that you'd need about gold to, you know, why you just couldn't sure. say, well, here it is, we counted it, tick. I mean, <clears throat> anyway, so if you get that back on us, that'd be great.